is Jean Bell. I'm a licensed uh, master mariner. I hold a 100-ton license. And I drive a tour boat on the St. Johns River, which I absolutely love. Yeah, alligators prefer their food bite-sized. So a lot of times when they get something really big like this, alligators feed by its snap, chomp, and swallow whole. Okay, they can't chew their food. Well, this is the St. Johns River, and it's the longest river in the state of Florida. It's about 315 miles long. Now, I know some books you'll read 310, and others say 326. I see the great blue heron over there, Doug. But this was the highway through central Florida. That's how this area got settled. We didn't have roads. We only had one road that went from the King's Highway, from uh, Charleston to New Smyrna. The rest were just sort of dirt tracks. So the river was used heavily in the 1800s to transport settlers um, and uh, supplies down here. This river was second only to the Hudson River in New York City in the heyday of the steamship era. We had 150 steamships a month coming down here. There it goes. The large leaf plants that look like banana trees. The official common name is fire flag or alligator flag. And that's in the arrowroot family. The roots are edible. It's a potato-like root. And here's another button bush over here on the left. See the plant with the puffy white flowers? Yeah, they smell really good, too. That was used by the Native Americans as a toothache remedy. I've been doing it, oh, about 11 years. It's, it's quite magical, even after all this time. I love taking people on board and watching their eyes open and seeing the wildlife that's suddenly around them that they hadn't noticed before. They're charmed by it.